Well, uh, Egyptian Al Ahli uh, team met yesterday uh, with the Moroccan uh, team uh, last night with uh, uh, Raga, uh, the uh, Moroccan team Raga uh, in the CAF quarter finals. Al Ahli defeated uh, Raga of Morocco uh, two uh, to one, only despite the great performance of the Egyptian uh, giants. Al Ahli and Raga are to meet uh, uh, next Saturday in uh, Morocco in Casablanca. Uh, for uh, this size uh, uh, match. Well, to shed more light uh, on the match of uh, yesterday, we have the pleasure to have uh, this uh, phone with Mr. Abdelaziz Abu Humr, the uh, sports uh, analyst. Good afternoon, sir. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon to you. Well, uh, uh, sir, how do you see the performance of uh, Al Ahli uh, team uh, yesterday uh, in front of uh, Raja uh, uh, of Morocco? Especially, give us your insight concerning the first half in which uh, Al Ahli scored two uh, goals, and also your insight concerning the second half of the match. Well, it was uh, a, a really tough and tense match. As expected, yes, it was uh, again a close match. What uh, almost uh, the new generation of uh, Al Ahli fan does not know is uh, always Al Ahli against Raja Casablanca is a very close match. We've, we've recently seen the African Super Cup which ends in a penalty shutout. Throughout the years, throughout the history of uh, Catholic Champions League, Ahli against Raja is always a close game. Yesterday, it was the first victory for Al Ahli in almost 19 years. Ahli started the match in a bit fair uh, note, and they were able to score two goals. But the fact is that uh, in a defensive lapse, Ahli conceded a goal, which put the, the, the match again at almost the starting point. Ahli needed to score more goals to guarantee or to be in a better position before the uh, away match on Friday. That did not happen, unfortunately, in the second half, even though Al Ahli had a chance to extend their uh, victory when, as, when, when the referee gave the, yellow, the, the red card yes. to Raja Casablanca defender, and then Amr Sulia missed a penalty. Yes. So the game took another turn since then. Yes, so in the second half, uh, uh, the Ahli team did not get benefit uh, of uh, that uh, the Moroccan team is playing only uh, 10 players. Isn't it true? So? That is, yes. you know, it was also a matter of course for uh, most of the followers, let us say, or the commentators. We know Araja or the uh, North African teams they have their own tactics. So they are very good in, uh, in uh, you know, missing times. Yes. So when Al Ahli, when, uh, when uh, Amr Suliya missed the penalty, that gives them a better moral over Al Ahli. And then the match ended 2 1. Still, it's not that much bad. Uh, uh, Result for Al Ahli. Yes. Al Ahli is a strong team, and I think Al Ahli they have stayed uh, 51 percent to qualify and to drive their way through to the semi-final of the CAF Champions League 2022. Yes, uh, I thank you very much for your time and for your valuable information, uh, Mr. Abdelaziz Abu Humra, sports analyst. Thank you very much for joining us over the phone. Ladies and gentlemen, a short break and I'm going to be back with you.